welcome back to my gameplay series where I'm doing some a little bit of different kind of content and doing some gameplay type stuff. And in that regard, I'm starting with Warfighter Modern Shadow War, and more specifically, uh, expansion number 57, dealing with the assassination of General Soleimani. And in my previous video, which I'll put a link to below, uh, I, I covered setup and a little bit of overview of gameplay. But as I also said in that previous video, this, this is something a little bit new for me in, in trying to film some of this stuff, uh, as well as... You know, I, I as I said before, I have a lot of games and I play a lot of games and a lot of variety of games. So whenever I come back to a game, it takes me a little bit to to get back up to speed and, and figure out kind of what I'm doing as I'm as I'm playing. And that's especially true of of solitaire games because I don't have uh, there's no one to sit there and say, yeah, you're doing that wrong. Um, so <laughs> except for my alter ego, uh, my evil twin will sometimes uh, let me go down the um down the wrong path which i you know i made some uh, corrections uh, after in my comments to the video you know right after the video of some of the stuff i might have missed also uh, i'll try to keep these a little bit shorter that last one was pretty long but i i was you know exploring new territory wanted to talk about the setup talk about a little bit of the overview uh of the game also if i miss stuff or or which i i will and if i you know messed stuff up too much please feel free to leave comments and let me know what uh what i did wrong there uh as i left off with the um the setup uh i also started going into the build out which is a key portion of warfighter it's you know one of the the nice things i like about the warfighter series is not only is the gameplay you're making decisions um, it's not just a, a chart type solitaire game. You know, I call these, you know, charty games, uh, uh, of the, of the ilk of B-17, you know, love B-17, played the living daylights out of it when I was uh, younger. And those games are, are, are fine and they pre present a narrative, but, you know, a lot of times they do get somewhat monotonous and reduce you to just looking at charts, rolling dice, and you're limited on decisions. Here, there's a lot more decisions in play. You know, the, the action deck uh, with the card play of making decisions of when to use a card, how to use a card, uh, when to just to discard a card for other purposes. You know, there's a lot of decisions there. How you want to uh, plan out your mission, you know, what hostiles are you engaging? How do you, do you want to invade them? Do you want to take them out? Do you just want to move forward? You know, how, how do you want to deal with the hostiles, how do you need to get to your objective, uh, how do you want to engage with the objective. I mean, th there's a lot more uh, decisions uh, in this game than um, than some of your, your standard charty uh, games in that regard. So that's one thing I really like. The other thing that's uh, uh, kind of um, a core to DBG games, you know, Warfighter and also their leader series, is this whole build-out segment, you know, how you you know, outfit yourself before you go into battle. That's a key part of, of their series, uh, of, of Warfighter and, and of their leader series of, you know, the decisions you make, uh, my decisions you make up front might, you know, kind of doom you later in the battle because, you know, you don't have the right weapons or you don't have the right skills or you don't have the right, uh, uh, resources to to accomplish your your objective so the build out is is a game in and of itself and i think some people that that really uh, like this series really enjoy you know enjoy that build out segment uh a lot and and really get a lot of uh enjoyment out of that so you know there's 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 kind of two games here there's the the build out game and trying to figure stuff out and then there's how you use that build out in the actual gameplay uh, the other aspect about Warfighter M Modern Shadow War that I like is this whole noise thing. I mean, you have uh, it takes uh, Warfighter Modern to kind of a, a different level because you're you're having to deal with this aspect of of trying to keep quiet, trying to you know make sure that the the guards aren't alerted. How do you keep the noise down? And 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 that adds a whole new dimension of of gameplay, but also of the build out as well. And when I left off last, I was you know totally butchered the build out, and I'm going to use um, I'm going to use this right here to, to kind of lay out where I was. I was going to uh, use uh, Cernushi, uh because I really liked um, he had extra loadout, uh, he had good cover, and I really liked his shadow 
skill, Shadow 6 Plus, and so I'd keep really quiet. Well, um, I didn't take an account of his of his cost. You know, that, that's nice, boy. That I, I can put all kinds of stuff on him. So I was going to put all kinds of gear on him uh, to, you know, equipment and skills. And I was actually going to bring, you know, some, some close support uh, and and the like to um, – on top of, you know, I was going to have, uh, bring a sniper rifle. I was going to make this the sniper mission. The mission that I had, I had, uh, picked for this was the one where, you know, he's out for a smoke break and you're just trying to pick him off. So, uh, that was way too much stuff, right? Cause you have the, you have the resource point, uh, uh, on the, on the cards there and the res resource, resource point limitation for this mission was 26 uh so him at 20 uh, i couldn't take anything right i mean i i could i could take the, the the i could take it would be him and a rifle uh without any you know black ammo so it'd just be loud ammo and nothing else to help out with that so um yeah that that's not gonna work so uh gonna scrap that sorry you didn't get called up for this mission guy I'm not going to be able to use any of this. Gear. Well, I might leave this gear out and think about, you know, some of the stuff I might still take on this mission. You know, I like the covert gear. I really don't need it. He was a six plus. Didn't really need the covert gear with him, but man, it, it would just make him almost, you know, uh, uh, invisible. The night sight again. This is going to be a, a sniper type mission, uh, along with the uh, upgraded uh, night goggles. The close combat. I was a little worried about not having any, uh, the sniper rifle really doesn't do very well up close. And so I was worried about if someone gets in my personal space here, how do I deal with that? And then the executioner really accentuates, uh, that skill really accentuates the, um, the sniper aspect of it. Well, uh, that's just way too many resource points. Don't have enough here. So, and I wanted to, you know, one of the things I was trying to do with this, I wanted to use the, the, uh, soldiers that came in the box, so to speak, that came in the, you know, came in the expansion. Uh, and so the other one that was there was Duke and it's at 17. So that gives me a little bit more to play with, not a whole lot. Uh, the health is, is, um, is better. Uh, so I'll have a card of, a uh, hand of six cards, but with, you know, Sunushi, they had the one combat experience. So they were going to have this one, you know, fr free floating card out there. So it's it's six and one half dozen of another, but you know a little bit better help. Loadout is ten lower, but I didn't really need the loadout because well because I can't buy anything right, and uh, the loadout is plus five on the mission here, so I'm I'm perfectly fine there. Uh, Shadows is not as good as Shadows eight, uh, and the hand to hand plus one, and that's gonna that right there is gonna kind of. Um, you know, form, form my plan for how I'm going to try to do this now. And then uh, the cover's not as good. So, but the movement's good. So this is the number here of, uh, normally you have to discard uh, a certain number of cards to go into the entry into a location, uh, but you can use their movement to uh, cover some of that aspect. So um, better movement. But again, in this, in this scenario, uh, if, if you recall, the uh the target you need to uh attack from range two so uh the embedded target of Solomon can only be attacked from range two so I'm really here I mean I really only need to move to to this spot to try to to get on him uh so I hope that's a good spot uh, so I really don't need a whole lot of movement but um you know at, at some point you know if after I get it done then I will uh you know, need to, uh, be extracted by the helo that's over here. So, um, so, you know, this is way too much, not as, you know, sorry, Sanushi, you're not going to make it. So I am going to use Duke or try to use Duke. I'm going to use the sniper rifle. Uh, so, uh, so that puts me at 17 plus six, that puts me at 23. And again, guys, if I'm messing, you know, something up here or, you know, my mass off or I'm not thinking about things right. Hey, feel free to let me know. Uh, I have no qualms with that. Uh, as I said, every time I, I pick a game up, it's like learning it anew sometimes because I just don't have that muscle memory of of playing games a, a whole lot. Um, like back in the day, I, I mean, I could play B-17, 
you know, blindfolded. But, uh, you know, nowadays there's just a lot of, there's a lot of great games out there, a lot of good gameplay. And I, I, I really am a victim of variety. I really like variety and like looking at new things, uh, all the time. So, um, and, and the good games I have, you know, and the, the many, many good games I have suffer from that. And you also get the night goggles, but I don't really have to pay for, uh, uh, that, uh, resource point because it's built in to Duke, but I usually like put that out because I know that I, I do have those, uh, night goggles there. So that puts me at 17 and, and six is 23. I have 26 mission. So, um, I'm not going to be able to carry a lot of this stuff, right? Uh, I certainly can't get into, I mean, if I carry this, uh, that's kind of, that's all I have is just equipment. I have nothing else really to go with. I mean, that's still a possibility, but probably, you know, not going to do that. I don't have enough. I don't think executioner, uh, is enough to, uh, it gives me, I, I can pay an XP, but uh, you know, how am I going to get the XP? I mean, I'm have to kill something in my space probably to get the XP. Uh, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of tough on that. So probably not going to take that one. So I'll put that over there. Um, still thinking about this one. The, this upgrade night goggles. I already have the night goggles. This is the uh, this is the upgrade to it. Gives me a little bit better uh, ranged attack. But you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm probably not gonna do that. I don't think that that's necessarily worth it. Night sight uh, is another good um, another good uh, one for range combat, uh, but it costs three, and it's going to put me just at, at, you know, nothing there, so again, again, I think I'm going to push that off. You know, the Covert Guild, Covert Gear, now that she, uh, uh, or Duke, uh, it might be a she, uh, but Duke um, comes in at eight plus on Shadow, this might really be useful to uh, use because it adds two to my Shadow rolls, uh, bring it bring duke back down to you know sir Nushi's level of six so this is a possibility to go with this because it really help out but again it's a, it's a three so that's all i would have is just uh, and and i don't really need i really don't need to be quiet on my movement I, i'm not gonna be moving a whole lot and once once this happens you know once i'm able to do an attack here you know all, all hell's probably gonna break loose anyway so i'm just gonna have to be bugging it out of there uh, and there'll be, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, and I might be able to use the cover of confusion, uh, possibly depending on what's going on there. So, um, yeah, I, I just don't, I just don't think I'm going to have the room for that. So, uh, the main thing I was concerned about is, you know, up, up close type combat in zero or one type, uh, ranks. I mean, one's not bad here for the sniper rifle. It's really, I'm really worried about kind of my up close, uh, situation, uh, as I, and basically my up close is I'm kind of going, uh, trying to get to my extract. So, uh, on that regard, I think I'm going to go a different route. I, if you recall, I mentioned in the previous video, I really hadn't done a whole lot of hand to hand. That was not something that I just needed to do. I was always had enough firepower to, you know, either sneak my way through or, um, blast my way when needed to, or, or, or discriminately take out targets when I needed to. And um, so I really haven't done a lot of that. So this one I'm going to try to learn a little bit more, right? I'm, this is a unique mission. It's more of a sniper thing. And it's a solo, just one soldier. And let, let's learn some hand-to-hand. -hand. So, you know, the cards you have for hand-to-hand, -hand, you have uh, unarmed combat. That uh, this is how you would do just unarmed, harm, or unarmed combat without any, you know, weapon. This is two-handed unarmed. It's small, blunt, and stealth plus three. Stealth plus three is nice because that's going to be very quiet uh, and, and it'll help me with, with those roles. Uh, also, you know, shadow attacks, um, you know, this, this will, this, uh, for hand-to-hand -hand combat, this will help me with, uh, with it, with the shadow attack. So those two cards I'm probably going to be using, uh, a lot more, uh, and referring to those a little bit more. So that brings me to, you know, instead of, instead of bringing the, uh, MP5, I'm probably gonna. Uh, I'm thinking about taking just a uh, a KA bar knife. You know, it, it'll cost one, so I'm at 23. So I'll be at 24. Uh, but this gives me just a little bit better uh, ability to deal with something in my in my area. 
And so, uh, a, what 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 better than a knife and uh, a sniper rifle to go to go about my business? So, so I'll do that. So that's at uh, seventeen twenty three twenty four, um, and that will leave me just enough um, to have a couple rounds of black ammo because black ammo costs you know one resource point, and uh, black ammo is is important. In this regard, uh, again, because it um, it's suppressed, and so each subsonic or black ammo attack die it only costs five noise, whereas regular ammo is going to cost give you ten noise. Um, and I want to be able to take a few shots to get done what I need to get done here before everything breaks out. Again, this is just my strategy on the build out, and one of the reasons I'm going through this is because. This gives you an insight into, you know, how bad I, I plan these things out. But, you know, more importantly, you know, that's an aspect of this game. I mean, this build out is, uh, as I said, is kind of a game in and of itself trying to figure out, all right, this is what my mission is. What am I going to what am I going to need to do in this mission? What am I going to encounter? How am I going to address what I encounter? And so uh, I, that's one that's one of the things I like about, uh, you know, Shadow War uh, is, you know, you're 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 constantly plugging and playing and figuring out. Well, does this work? Will this work? How? You know, and you can't plan for all contingencies. You can't have resources for all contingencies, unless, of course, you just totally disregard the resource point number of the soldier. But that's a whole other story. And then, um, so uh, that's one thing I kind of like about this. That's why I'm kind of going into this because it really does, I think, flow from you know the setup and then into the build out, which is a, a, a important aspect of this game of the bipod there. So that would give me right at 26 because I got, and again, I probably won't have to need, I mean, I got four ammo. You can buy extra ammo, but, um, it comes with four. Uh, I don't necessarily need extra ammo in that. Uh, well, I don't think I do because the reload, you know, which again is the number you roll that or under you have to reload. Uh, and get new ammo is a one. So hopefully I'm not rolling a lot of ones. Otherwise, I'm going to be knifing my way out of this thing. So um, the other thing you can also do is you can get um, subsonic, subsonic ammo, which I might you know replace one of those regular ammo with the subsonic ammo. Uh, it doesn't cost you any resource points, so I can freely use it. Uh, it also has only five noise, which that's good. It's just like black ammo. The problem is it's got minus two penetration, so it's not as effective as uh, as the black ammo. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I might make a decision on whether I just source that out for regular or not, or at least one of those for that, um, just to have the the chance that uh, if I if I do blow all this, then I can get to that again. Unless I'm rolling really horrible, which I can do, um, I don't know if um, I really don't know if that's going to come into play as much. But uh, I'm used to going into missions with weapons that have quite a bit more ammo, uh, and and with multiple soldiers. So with multiple soldiers and multiple ammo, we weapons with with a lot of ammo, you've got quite a bit of firepower to bear. Like this, the MP5 has eight. You know, comes with eight ammo. So you know that's kind of nice to have. This one, you know. Um, I haven't done one like this with with the with the rifle like that, so I'm I'm kind of like, eh, how's that going to uh, how's that going to play out? So, but that's what I'm thinking about um, of doing on this. And uh, the only other aspect, the one thing I didn't cover, I did I, my my earlier video wasn't an exhaustive overview of the rules, and and again, it wasn't probably the the most pristine or accurate. So don't refer to that as a rule summary. That was more just an overview to give you a feel as I was setting up uh, some of the game aspects. But one thing I failed to cover is that, you know, when uh, hostiles come on the board, they come on um, unaware. And when and so as long as they're unaware, uh, then you can, where's an unaware counter? I should have an unaware counter here somewhere. But um, here's one right here. They come on the board as unaware. And then, you know, if, if you roll over here on the noise, if, if you get to a noise level, usually in the uh, the yellow gets you to where you have to roll for, uh, if, if there's a potential for a pause, and then they'll flip to pause, meaning that they'll, they think they heard something or saw something, so they're going to pause. And the next line, next level from pause is 
they're going for the alarm and and the, and the location will have a alarm uh, area on it, you know, like this one. Uh, well, this one doesn't, but but normal locations have like an alarm um, uh, on uh, or uh, yeah, where is the alarm here? Huh? What was I? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The hostiles. It's hostiles. What am I thinking? Um, the hostiles, like this hostile right here. Oh, it's a sniper. I have to shuffle these up. That's alarm four. So when when this one's going for the alarm, it's going to be uh, you know put on the four uh, alarm going for the alarm, and that's how many actions. That's not how many turns. That's how many actions. So four actions. So basically two turns of my uh, actions will then put it at the alarm sounded. So, uh, and then everybody comes on the board as alert and that becomes a problem. But if they come on as unaware, then uh, you have the ability to, uh, you draw from this cup and I'm using my good old SR-71 uh, Blackbird, which was a very prime uh, spy plane for the good old CIA back in the day and actually got this at a, uh, at a CIA blind stand. That's a that's a whole other story about that. Anyway, so um, the uh, you'll draw from this cup, and that's going to have some modifiers because I mean they're unaware, so it's going to hit them out of the out of the blue or out of the shadows. And you can actually get a you know like an autom There's I think one ch uh, shit in here that's an automatic kill, but there's also some that are like no shot. So something something happened. They got distracted or. Somebody's coming, and you know, you end up not having a shot. So that that's bad. But there's also a you know an automatic kill as well, and um, which is and no reload, so you're not going to run out of ammo. So that that's a good thing to get there. Um, and so as long as they're unaware, that's something that you can really start keeping quiet and mowing you know mowing some 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 baddies down as you're uh, going through this and you know and some of these as you know some of these hostiles have multiple targets or uh reticules i think they're what they're called um and if you take out one then the other one is i believe on that one counter will it will be suppressed i need to go in the rules on that which is good because then they're not gonna as long as they're suppressed they can't go for the alarm but you know if you if you take someone out if you just suppress somebody um then the other person on that uh the other reticule, reticule or the other target will, you know, could could do something. So you got to worry about that kind of stuff. Anyway, so that's probably going to be my uh, uh, build out uh, in, in, for until I until I decide to make uh, more changes to it. But I think I'm just going to go sniper rifle knife. Try to keep quiet. Um, if I run into something, I'm going to try to to deal with it quietly and and with with unarmed or with. Uh, a knife fight um because i got a plus one to my hand to hand um and then you know get to this location take some shots here hopefully get knock uh Soleimani out and then book it out to the extraction you know best laid plans right uh that's that's what i'm thinking about here the, the other thing about this mission you know this is kind of unique in that you know the i uh, uh, my title here i also talk about background well the background of this mission you know, it was actually a, um, it happened on, you know, January 3rd, uh, 2020. Um, Soleimani, you know, was a uh, Iranian major general and, uh, he was, he was really originally or in real life was, uh, assassinated by a drone strike. And so in this, uh, expansion or in this, uh, scenario, you get a drone and that you need to, you know, need to use, and then you also have the, um, there's also a targeting, you know, device that helps you, and so, the, and I haven't done a lot of that, so there's a whole new, there's other rule set on how you use this, and how you try to, you know, basically you're painting the target, and then having the drone come in, so the, the special forces, or the forces that are coming in here, you, you are going to come in, try to get to a location, so you can paint, uh, paint the target, and then you know have the drone come in and do its do its uh, business. So that that's the background. That's what what really happened. You know, I'm taking a little bit of different uh, alternative history on this one by taking this as a uh, kind of a so solo sniper type uh, mission uh, and seeing how this plays out. And and that's again the beauty of you know warfighter 
is that you can it, it has a lot of replayability and a lot of uh, interesting aspects of that. You could play this mission as a typical um, a, as it did in real life and try to you know go and encounter the things that were actually encountered and, and go through that. Um, or you you know you have variety here. You can change up how the target is reacting or, or where they're located at and how you want to what mission you want to do and how you want to build out that mission. So, you know, the layers of replayability or, or, or variability are, are not endless, but there's a lot there. You know, the missions can be different. The targets can be, uh, the target locations can be different. Um, and the equipment, of course, you use each time and the soldiers you use, uh, are, are can be different each time. And then, of course, what happens during gameplay and the dis the cards you draw and the missions and the decisions you make all lend to the variety uh, and uh, variability and replayability of this game. So, you know, that's what I have for today. Um, I still haven't decided yet if I'm just going to do like recaps of how I'm doing it or if I'm going to try to shoot this as I go. I kind of tend to drone on, um, you know, pun intended, a little bit too much on these things. But, uh, you know, one of the things I wanted to do this for is to, you know, it, it allows me to kind of play through this and see how these, how it is to relay this kind of content to, to you all. But also uh, gives you a chance to see, you know, about this game, you know, the aspects of the game, you know, the setup, the build out, you know, how the gameplay is. So you can, get, so you can figure out, well, do I like that? Is that interesting to me? Or I don't like that kind of stuff. I mean, you're more interested in, you know, Hex's encounters and, you know, bigger forces taking over bigger areas and, and simulating, you know, bigger conflicts, you know, either whole battles or, or wars, you know, that's fine, or campaigns or operations, that's fine. Uh, but, you know, this will give you a chance to say, well, I, I kind of like that. That sounds interesting how you do that. Or I didn't know that this game went into that level of detail. Anyway, that's what I got. Um, hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm in, I'm kind of enjoying figuring out how to present this and, 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 and it actually gives me a, an excuse. I have, I need excuses to play my games. Excuse to kind of get into this game a little bit because I really do like this, this series. It, 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 it does fit a, a niche for me. Anyway, uh, as always, thanks for spending some time with me. <laughs>